Good afternoon, it's Jilly Coop from Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia on another wet and miserable day. It's not too cold at all, but it is a little bit yucky. It's not, not very nice, but you know, we need rain. Um, so we don't have too many of these days, so can't complain. I'm trying these little um, wooden coasters out. They're a little bit bigger than the normal kind of um, cup coasters. So I got these from Capriol Shabby Chic. They have MDF cutouts of all different shapes and sizes. So I'm going to use these and I'm going to, I'm going to use my um, boom gel stain. I'm going to use it directly from the bottle. The, oh, where did that go? With the only exception of, um, I've got some black and white got some black and white in the boom that I have put some of the boom booster in and I mixed it up in a cup and then I put them in these little um, containers which I, I get from my uh, the online store Capriol Shabby Chic so they've got lids and they've got a little these have got a little lid so you can make it up and leave it you know I suppose it would last quite a few weeks because it's it's sealed in there so that's made up with uh, just a few drops of the boom booster in it so without further ado yeah they're really handy without further ado oh i also got the syringe from capriol shabby chic too so i will be doing some kind of art with the syringe maybe i'll inject under the paint or do something of that nature so I've got all these ideas in my head and so many products there to keep trying new ideas so to keep giving you guys something new hopefully so here we go I'm going to do so I'm going to use it straight from the bottle as I said so you normally give them a real good shape I'm going to use one black I'm going to I won't do them both at the same time because I get miggled up muggled up whatever you say so i do one white and i'm going to put my native violet purple nice blob of it there i'm going to go over to the gorgeous pinnacle sand which i've just had a gorgeous result with that and then i will hoo -hoo, my mana crab blue you can get these worldwide they have stockists worldwide so nobody misses out you can all get them the banksia orange oops oops a days she said go back to the native native duvalaki what's it um and then i will pour a little bit of with the boom booster in I'm going to use my little um, world's smallest blower which has a USB so I'll just I've got a USB um, thingy plug here so I'll plug that in and I'm just going to have to check my video because sometimes when I unplug, unplug my USB my um, video stops for whatever reason silly duffer it is okay i haven't used all of the colors in this particular one but i'm going to try it with the mini blower so very good little tool so we get these well i got this from capriol shabby chic and i know in the us canada and uk you can get them from amazon so a good little tool if you want to save your windy pops oh look at this see these particular paints the boom gel stain were made to create the shelly art bloom 
but in a pre-mixed paint so instead of adding all your pillow and your pouring medium and your cell activator they do everything all in the one bottle it's already pre-mixed for you so I've just added so there, so there you go it, there's sort of a no-brainer for the um, uh, bloom technique maybe I need to add a bit more white around the very edges of those so if you you know you fed up of trying to get get the bloom without much success and all the costs these paints are brilliant for it so they give you a bloom without the effort so they're kind of you know like uh, what's those things that were always out the um, oh, you know like the iPhone for dummies this is <laughs> it's not dummies but this is the bloom for people that have tried uh, all the products and spent a fortune then you can come back to this now I should have got my spinner out on this shouldn't I Oh, that was my just little bit of doodling that I wanted to do but that's very pretty the colors are lovely and I love it and I didn't even have to um, worry about blowing me self unconscious because my little blower did it all my little mini blower that's very pretty if you want to get these kind of blooms on bigger canvases this is the idea I would do you use it as a swipe you do the swipe and it, and it blooms like this and you stretch it out and then the other thing you can do is if you have got a terrific little little bloom like this and you want it on a big then you send a high definition photo to a print shop and you get your nice big bloom your gorgeous bloom blown up on a nice big canvas and they come out really well because I have seen them so that is very pretty like it I'm not gonna push that I'm not gonna go too far with that because I like the negative space so we give the um, no I want I want to put the willy wagtail black on the base this time so that one was the white so I'll go the black there we go okay so I'm going back to the pinnacle sand I will add some of the metallic copper in this one and I'll go the Banksia orange and of course native violet purple We'll come back to a bit of pinnacle sand oh I want to add a little bit of the mana crab blue gorgeous colors actually I should have put a light color on top because I want to put the black salad activator okie dokie here we go so this is the the black just mixed with the boom booster Oh, that's that's really quite lovely, isn't it? That that's gorgeous. Well, I like it, and it was done with no effort. So now I'm hoping that I don't blow me bits and bobs over that one because I love that. Okay, mini blower, do your thing. So I'll keep it quite high to start with, just so I don't blow it everywhere. Oh, I think I may have gone a bit too dark on this one. It's dark and moody, but I think it's going to be pretty nice, actually. I'll 
Okay. Wow. Wow, is this trousers? Love that. See, if I take a photo, I'll get my camera, and you do it. I forgot the DPSI, or I'm not technical with all those doobalackies. But if you, I mean, this is just my iPhone, but the new iPhone Pro Max that I have got, that I just haven't got it set up yet, um, they take really good, they've got a fantastic cameras on them and they take really good photos so as you see well I, I, I couldn't do it with the lights on I have to turn all the lights off if you take a really good photo of your um, particular paw that you love in a high definition you send that to your print shop they will so so like I mean I haven't stretched that one out yet but there and the other one so if you send a high definition photo to a print shop they can have you a two foot by two foot like blown up or three foot by three foot so I believe so um, yeah they're all they're all just ideas for you for you guys so that black one is actually pretty nice I'm going to stretch that out a little Actually, I should do that. Oh, actually, I should do that black more often. I always seem to do it on white, but that is super duper. I'm going to go and just put a bit more of the black around the edge so I can run it off easy. So, excellent way to get a big photo, a big print of your gorgeous um, bloom is, is send them off to the, the printers. Give the printer some work. Oh, that's beautiful too. Look at that. Wowzers. Love it. Oh, these paints are the bomb. They really are. They're great. I mean, you could obviously probably get more bloom out of that if I blew a bit more or you, you, know, you blew it yourself. But I don't know. I don't want to over, over blow. <laughs> there you go. Oh. I think those are very, very pretty, very nice. I love them, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So they're just like no brainers to get the bloom. And obviously with more practice, and I've got ink, uh, paint everywhere because I didn't use my gloves. Obviously with more practice with these particular paints, I mean, you only use a tiny little bit as you've seen on the top. And I'm going to look into getting one blown up so I can show you guys what the print. I've got to find out if my new camera will do the high definition. Anybody knows anything about cameras, let me know. But I love those. I think they're great. Just no brainers. Never have to think about it or mix stuff and get it wrong or right. It's, it's just all there. So... Let me know what you think, guys. Oh, the colours are nowhere near as vibrant what is happening with my camera i'm hoping when i get my new iphone 11 pro max with this u-butte camera that it really does some justice for my colors and because that black one is stunning so i'm going to take some photos now with all the lights off above it and show you guys at the end hopefully uh, there'll be some puppy photos or there might be a video at the beginning not sure there will be a nana joke for sure for you to roll your eyes i hope you enjoyed um john actually did a joke that i put on the video um was it yesterday or the day before can't remember what video it was but john said it oh let me do a joke so it's got a poppy john joke at the end <laughs> okay guys thanks so much for joining me please stay safe if you feel depressed lonely sad please ring someone there is a helpline or get in touch with family friends a neighbor might be feeling the same way as you but don't don't just be alone you there's people around that want to listen and help so please please um if i could have you here and having a cup of coffee with me i actually would absolutely would so stay safe guys um until next time bye for now 
Well, I hope you liked those creations. I was absolutely gobsmacked and just love them um, from some, you know, something so simple and not having to think about it. Okay, my nana joke is, I could tell you a joke about pizza, but it would be a little cheesy. Yes, roll your eyes. Okay, uh, want to hear a joke about paper? Never mind, it's terrible. Terrible. Okay, bye for now. <laughs> Till next time, have a good one.